Okay, y'all. I had to come back in here because I realized it was some shit that I left out that I really did want to talk about, about them hoes. Now, this is not the... Tomorrow, I'll do another video and um, talking about it and, you know, maybe I can get Mojo in again and the damn video won't cut off. But anyway, I want to talk about this shit because I really need to. Did y'all happen to notice, and let me talk about this part, when they was at the table and shit after Laura said that she didn't like Dre or this and that and other, she wasn't feeling her or whatever. So they went and ate and shit and Laura was talking or saying whatever and Dre hit her and I was like, okay, Dre, get your little backbone guitar. But the bitches, she should have been getting that, sh you know, she still hasn't which is Miss Christy. Anyway, so Laura says what she says, and Drea's like, why you always so, you know, I forget the word she used, angry or whatever, all the time. And she's like, I am the winner. I'm not trying to be a winner or whatever. And she's just sitting over there looking like a big-ass motherfucking square bob man, just looking like a motherfucking man, you know. And she's just got all her hostility, seems like, towards Dre or whatever, Excuse me again, but with that being said, she really don't know what the fuck's really going on. But the bitch do know she said something, you know. We know from the pool shit. Then another thing, when they went to the to the function, the breast uh, was not breast well. Of course, I'm gonna say breast cancer to the cancer function when they was on the motherfucking uh. uh red carpet taking a picture or whatever. They had that scene and everybody was talking, and then you look over and you see. Laura talking to somebody, but didn't anybody else notice how that bitch was looking like a uh, motherfucking the wife of Morticia? Did that bitch not look like motherfucking Morticia off of the Adams family or whatever it was? I was like, what is this bitch doing with this motherfucking drag makeup and shit on? She was in deep, just Transylvania drag, bitch. I'm I, I just really needed to needed to talk about that for me. Listen to me, tongue tied. I can't say it quick enough. Needed to talk about it, bitch, because you look like a motherfucking Transylvanian drag queen. I, I'm sorry, you know. And then that was that. And then another scene that I didn't talk about because I'm like, wait a minute, it was some other shit that I wanted to talk about. The scene where. Of course, we know they left without saying goodbye to Glory or whatever, which I thought was in horrible taste, which Drea ended up saying, well, she was making a speech, but bitches, y'all was invited just, in, you know what I'm saying, Imani, your big head ass trying to act like you trying to be so cordial and this and that and other, bitch, you know you were supposed to motherfucking stay and at least, not stay, but at least say goodbye to Gloria because it was their function. So that's, that was kind of foul to me, you know, just disgraceful to me. You know, wait until she finish, finishes having her speech and do it, you know what I'm saying? And say, we gone, and that's it. Okay, so then, and I did talk about them going out to lunch or whatever they was eating or whatever, and she says, I had to get Drea together again. Bitch, you didn't really get Drea together. I mean, you know, although I think it's kind of wrong because they don't have the full story on your ass, and I'm trying to keep it cute with you because I know that it didn't go how Jackie's crazy motherfucking ass is trying to say it went. Okay. And then with that being said, did you tell your sister like she was going to do any motherfucking thing? What was that bitch going to do? Besides, I mean, really, what was that bitch going to do? I mean, you was more tissue. Did you think that bitch was going to turn into the top that she is and untuck her shit and just turn into super motherfucking untucked bitch? I mean, you know, I don't know. Then there was the scene with um where it's Jackie, Christy, uh Imani's big headed ass and Drea are, and they all have a lunch and Drea mentioned that oh girl goes to counseling or whatever, which I don't know, Dre, you might could have left that out, but with that being said, all these bitches didn't attack you, so whatever the fuck you say to these hoes, it's pretty much okay. I think you being a good sport about it, you should have been the one off or whatever. Although I would kind of slow up a little bit. With Miss Laura, because you might get your ass mopped, because you know that's a big motherfucking Barbarella ass man. And you don't want her manhandling you and shit. Mm -hmm. Anywho, so uh, Imani says, Well, honey, she need to get her money back because that council ain't working. And Jackie, meanwhile, is over there. That bitch is damn near smirking and smiling because this bitch done orchestrated all of this shit. Now, let me go to this part that I really want to go into. Did y'all happen to notice that when Drea and Mal Malaysia went out to eat or whatever, 
how they was talking about Hawaii. Malaysia said, oh, so she's two-faced and I ain't with that. And Malaysia's trying to keep it kind of cute. She's been kind of low-key a lot ever since her and her girl fought. She's been low-key um, with her shit. So, you know, I can't say anything negative about Malaysia. I, I You know, I just can't. Um, that I've seen other than the time when she tried to back out of her shit. She had one little incident where I was a little agitated with her motherfucking ass. But, you know, we'll, we'll give her a pass. If Dre is willing to give her a pass, because that's the bitch she ran a foul to or whatever, then we might as well. So they talking this shit, talking about going. And it seemed like Malaysia said some, what did she say? I don't want all of that to be going on while we in Hawaii and we get put out. And Miss Dre already said it. She ain't, Jackie ain't paying her motherfucking bills or nobody else, Miss Laura. So ain't nobody going to ruin the trip, you know, for me. But it seemed to me like Malaysia was saying some shit and they was kind of hunting. Miss Girl, Drea was like, mm-hmm. Cause we, it was kind of like one of them, <clears throat> uh huh. Like we gonna have us a good bumping motherfucking party when we get to Hawaii. It was like they was like, bam, chicka, wow, wow. And I was like, oh, I take my shit all the way off and be like, what? You know, although I already knew that they was bumping pocketbooks any motherfucking way, you know. But that part just kind of fucked me up, and I was like, well, if, if, did I really see that? Anywho, that was what I wanted to come back and talk about. Let me make sure that I didn't forget nothing else. Because I was, it just dawned on me. Let me see. Mm, yeah, I think that's just about it. That, you know what I'm saying? It was really pretty boring, like I said in the first, but I wanted to mention that part. Um, with that being said, since I got a few more minutes left on this and I'm doing a direct upload. Let me talk for a minute, because I know I haven't talked about Miss Lala, but can I just talk for a minute about Lala? Now, y'all been watching the Lala show on and off, and it's boring, as that quacking ass duck would say, it's boring dot motherfucking com dot net dot gov dot org dot bitch, all that. But I don't know if y'all seen the one where she took her shit off, and I did mention this briefly. And got on the scale and shit. But am I the only one that's no noticing that? Um, yeah, Miss Lala act like she want to buy pocketbooks or something because she was like, uh, when Kelly went out and they all went out of town or whatever, and Kelly made a uh, another cameo or whatever. It was like it was there was something uh, some statement made. They walk in and they was like, one of them was like, "Do y'all got your swimming suit?" and Miss Girl, Miss Lala said, well, let's skinny dip. And But then Kelly said something to the effect of, I don't have nothing on underneath this, you know. And old girl who was with him, and we know that the other chick that's with him, she, you know, gay or whatever. She's like, ooh, let me see, you know. But Miss Lala was like, let's skinny dip and all of this. What is going on with her? Yeah, I'm just... I mean, it's a lot of undertones going on. Like, she really want to be bumping some pocketbooks or something. I don't, y'all, God was kind of taken back. And then last episode, Venus was on there talking about, I just want to put my face in your breast and go, boo. I was like, what the hell? Anyway, I had to bring that shit up because that was just some shit that was on my mind. And uh, the T.O. shit, old girl got proposed to. T.O.'s feeling some kind of way. Which I believe she likes, uh, he likes her. The one girl that's from here, he likes her. I don't know why they never got together, but he's feeling some kind of way. It wasn't nothing to speak of. The dude got engaged, they got engaged, whatever. Now, off a whole nother subject, just off of that, I do got to bring this up. I hope y'all are looking forward to love and hip hop because I'm going to be all over it. And they, I tried to post it on my site, but you can go to VH1 and see it. They posted a clip of um, what's going to be going on. And them whores going to be fighting like hell, y'all. I'm talking about there's a new bitch on there. And, honey, she came to play the motherfucking game. She got that old girl and was like, I'm glad you and Fabulous or whoever the fuck she was with is not together. And, you know, because, honey, two years ago, I was messing around with him. And old girl was like, I was pregnant two years ago and we was together. Next thing you know, old girl who who's with Jim Jones or however the fuck, however, then popped the shit out of her and then whooped the shit out of her, y'all. That shit's going to be good. On top of that, Jim Jones, gravel voice ass 
Grady off of the motherfucking uh Sam for the Sun voice, you know, her bitch just grab it. Like this that's my son. You y'all know that whole shit. I beat and got whiplash or some shit trying to sound like her. And my shit's pretty deep. But she made a song about old girl calling her bitch, bitch, that's my son. Y'all it's gonna be off the chain. And I said, off the chain. Do they say that anymore? My old ass. Anyway, y'all, that's gonna be pretty good. If you go to VH1, you can see the clip. I tried to get it and put it on the site, but I couldn't. VH1, I'm going to need y'all to send me that video so I can put it on my site. Um, you know, just to put the video up or whatever. But anywho, that's going to be good. Um, Y'all, I got an error on my fucking ringer video. We're going to start from last week's and do it like that. I know you're like, fuck you much love in this motherfucking ringer shit. You done got us caught up in this shit. Now you ain't talking about it. I am going to talk about it because I'm into it. So I'm going to have to get into it. I'm just, you know, I, I'm not going to fuck with that video, trying to upload that long ass one. So we're going to start. But where we're going to start at, if y'all been watching it, y'all be up to speed or whatever. So it comes on tomorrow. So be right, you know, I'll do that directly after. And just kind of add in last week and this week. So I'll do that directly after the show, Lord willing, if I'm living and I'm hurt. Um, let me see. <sighs> what else was it? Oh, just some other random ass shit. I'm trying to, I'm so I was trying to, I, I did mainly edit the video from the dance, but y'all, something's going on my, with my Windows movie making. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. And I think I need to get an editing program, you know, by just one. And I just need y'all to hit me up below and tell me about one that's good. If you make videos and you edit or whatever, if you can suggest one, please drop that below. Because my Windows Movie Maker is just acting a fool. So drop that shit below. Anywho, I'm out of here. I wanted to share that. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about the hoes again. Hopefully with Mojo. And we're going to really hash this shit up. And talk about it or whatever because he kind of got the good inside scoops and all of that. So, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Anyway, I'm out of here. Much love. Bye.